be in this one, Jerry. I'm gonna video. Uh, okay, guys, Parks Breakers, Jeeps Unlimited, uh, Jeremy here, 303-666-9020. It's been a few years since we've started to uh, collect some CJ stuff of anything of uh, worth. I and mean, we get CJs in all time, but most of the time they're roasted as far as the body goes. So let me tell you a little bit what we're doing here today. Um, this one is coming apart and mainly because, uh, and it ran, um, but there was a title issue with it. So we had to go through some state stuff and I don't want to mess with that. So that's one reason. And then it's not perfect. It's got, you know, uh, the windshield frame is toast. The body actually is going to be what I'm hoping to be like an A minus. Normally a little bit of damage like that and a YJ series, you'd be a little like a B, but CJs are so freaking hard to find, especially sevens, um, rust free. And this one does appear to be rust free that this tub is going to be available here in a few weeks. And I will price it once it gets completely dismantled and we confirm that the floors and where the roll bar mounts and all the areas that we know that go in these things um, is rust free. And if it is, then it'll be priced as a grade A. So there's some trims on these that are real. This was a Laredo. It's got some, um, it's got some really good stuff on it. It's a late model, wide track axles, Dana 300, um, runs and drives, low miles. Uh, the motor's actually gonna be pulled into another CJ that we will have for sale, a CJ7. Uh, it's a bright orange one, really cool. It's been basically restored other than an engine being put in it. So we'll go through this engine, tranny, transfer, transfer case. So Dana 300, T, T5 transmission, and then the straight six. And we put it in that one. And that one you can see, I believe it's on our website. If not, it's definitely on YouTube. Um, and we were listing it for a while as is, see if somebody wanted to buy it and then drop their own motor into it. Um, it's clean California, it's a California title um, and it's ready to rock other than the drivetrain. So we're gonna be putting that in it. So if that's something you're interested in, before we drop this motor, especially if you're an LS guy or wanting to put a V8 in something, um, we have an option for a V8 out in the yard. We could pre-sell the Jeep and then we could build out how you want it assembled and we could assemble it for you. Um, but this video is actually only briefly showing this one. I'm actually showing this guy. So um, this is a little bit of a unique Jeep for a few reasons. One, and right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, it's titled as a 74 and it is definitely a 79. And there's some things on it that what I think they did is kind of, well, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I'd be speculating pretty heavily. It, it came out of Texas. And the history we have on it is that it was a base, military base Jeep, and they they were parts left over um, from the 70s, um, and they basically made one Jeep out of uh, out of two or three or however what they had sitting there or parts they had sitting there. They did a great job. It is a rust-free CJ5, and the advantage of having this one and having it titled as it is 74 is that 74 is going to get you into uh, pre-emissions in most states. And having the later uh, tub and frame and suspension is going to get you a little better ride. So um, this thing runs like a top. I mean, no joke. So we're going to get it somewhat cleaned up. And I just want to show you as it came in. So you're looking at a rust-free tub, rust-free frame, rust-free axles. They're the narrow tracks that came in these. Got lockout hubs. You notice already the, the wheels are mismatched. We're going to get the wheels back to the way that it should have been. Um, if you look at, you can see some of the military insignia and the, the paint, some of this stuff um, on this guy. Uh, but if you look here, the VIN, that's right, right there. Okay, uh, this here matches the title. Okay, so obviously they could have put a dash in it. Um, it's not super hard to do, but what's bizarre is that this is this is a 79 or you know a later dash 76 86 so it's everything about it is that but you can tell this has never been messed with uh, You know people could have swapped over a sticker, but you can this is not only in very good shape, but It's so that's and I actually had a, a CJ guy. That's a guru. He builds all our transmissions look at this and he adamantly said before I showed up that, you know, it was just gonna be one of those ones that people were gonna, that, that they probably found and somebody did this. But then he looked at it and goes, you know what? 
think you're right. I think this is probably uh, a Jeep that a base had, and they put it back together with what they had sitting there. And uh, but still baffled about this dash because no, never once would they had a dash that matches uh, 76 later and a title. So it's it's a weird one. That's cool. I like that about it. Um, okay, so. And we're gonna put a seats in it. Um, they're right there, so we're gonna get a nice set of seats in it. It's gonna need some paint, and it's got a little filler in it, which is, an, again, not uncommon um, to have. They, uh, out of the factory, and it's a little history lesson. If you ever walk up to a Jeep, the jet's flying over today. Let me see if this one does it. Okay, you can kind of see it here. You can see down the sides here, there's almost rivet that, that kind of hold. You can see the little dimples here. Now, this is the damage, but right above it here. This is actually factory. And so when the dealers would get these, uh, they would lather these things up, smooth them out, and send them right to a body shop and smooth them out. Anymore, it's actually kind of uh, uh, sacrilegious to do that. They actually, people go and they look for look for that uh, as, as being, sorry to show you that, I'm not showing you, but um, they look for that, those dimples, and it actually helps with the value. So they've done that on this one. They've glazed this one over and smoothed it out. So it's primered, it's ready to go, ready to paint. You could go back to the army green it had um, or whatever. It does have a tailgate, um, which is uncommon on fives. A lot of these are, are, are uh, fixed, meaning there's just a steel plate back here. So that was there. Um, the bumper will come off unless you want it, and I'll save it just in case you do, but we'll go back to factory the way that these came. Um, I don't think I can get, it doesn't even look like it was made with it. The spare tire way that these held on, I'll have to look at that because I don't even see the mount holes for that. So so that, that you see this, again, this is what throws us so much about this thing because there should have been a uh, an area for a spare tire carrier, which I don't even see the mounts for it. So a little bit of filler here in the corners. Um, no rust in there, I felt, and I'll show you when we do finally list this thing, we'll we'll go into top and bottom and lift it up on the lift and show you all that. My guess is because the last one we just did sold before it had a chance to actually list it. Because uh, normally what we do is we list it for a price, we throw it up on eBay, and then it's a no it's a no reserve at that starting price. But we do before that, um, we'll sell it for that starting price. And once it hits auction, whatever it goes for, it goes for. It won't end it early. So no rust in the areas again, just like that other one. Um, so you're going to have a nice clean tub. We're going to get this out of here. Again, we'll save it in case you decide you want to go back to this if you like the way it looks. But we are going to go back to the, the slant um, factory uh, roll bar. We have a factory one out there. Um, it won't be it won't be primer paint like this one is. It'll be a, I either have a blue or a white one. I'll we'll probably throw a white one in it. Um, we'll get the seats mount. Like I said, I'll clean the dash up a little bit. It's an uncut dash, right? So that's this dash is worth a decent amount. We get like 500 bucks just for an uncut dash. When I say uncut, I mean the radio hasn't been cut on this one. That makes anything CJ related that's not been messed with or molested, that makes them so much more valuable. I'll see if I can get a visor for you. If not, I'll get rid of this just so it doesn't look so janky on there. It does have a key ignition. We do have a title, like I said. And then um, we'll get the wheels, like I said, match. We'll put on the dressings of the hood, the cowl, we'll put some glass in it. Um, and then as far as the inside of this thing goes, this is gonna appeal, right here is gonna appeal to the California guys because it has got a smog on it. Now, I can't tell you this is gonna pass out there because it's, you know, California's goofy, but I will say that all the lines on the intake, okay, all the smog stuff that you need is here. Just that stuff alone, just to piece it off, if we were, this Jeep is worth a lot in parts, this is what I'm trying to say is, but um, it runs and drives, and obviously the fuel tank is not original. Um, that's gonna be reset back to the original one up underneath, and that will be removed. But I always like to show people what they're looking at right now. If you, yes, could you buy it as is? You absolutely can. Uh, if you wanna do the work on it, give me a shout. I'll give you the price on it as is, and um, we'll go from there. So. Here's your 79 that I noticed right there, okay? Now, that's about the only thing on this thing that gives it away that's a 79, the title and everything else. Let me show you this vintage right here. You got it? Cool. All right, so this vintage right there, okay? 
might spring it back here just enough to clean that up just a little bit. You can see that guy. So, focus my phone here. All right, so that gives us a good shot there. So, notice the one. Let's see, we got, we'll just start about eight in. That's a C. Yeah, so C091954. And a T or a seven. I. It's an I, okay? So, real quick here. C091954. Oh, it's a one actually. Okay, same same bin. And again, not only is that not like it's ever messed with, I know I'm gonna get somebody that tells me there's no way. And I know I've been doing this for 18 years, I get it. But, goodness, there's no, there's no indication. Look at the, the riveting in it. And there's absolutely no indication on this guy or that one in there that it's been changed or messed with or goofed with at all. So we're gonna say what it is, which is a 1974. That's what our title says. That's what this says. That's what that plate on the inside says. The only thing, and check this out too. See this stuff? This is all military stuff. So the only thing on this entire Jeep that tells us it's a 79 is right here. The rest of it that tells us it's a late 76, 76 or later is going to be to do with the way this engine is laid out, okay? The way that the roll bar is in it, the way that the steering works in it. 72-75s, they don't use this kind of steering setup. They don't use harnesses like this. Um, the engines are, yeah, they're fairly, fairly close, but you never see this smog stuff on uh, that stuff. Um, windshield frame, okay. Seat brackets, transmissions, and I'll, I'll crawl underneath it in a second and show you why I know the bottom of it. See, this is what gave it away when I walked up on it, and I didn't even look at anything else. But it's got a 20 in it, and it's 72 to 75. They are uh, 44, flange 44 center. This one is an AMC 20, okay? And I don't know the gear ratio of it, but I can tell that the letter is an A, so it's probably like a 355. I'll have to verify that, but, uh, but look up underneath the thing. No rust, absolutely beautiful. Be a great for either just use it as is, okay? Uh, this one, looks like a 20 or should be a 20 but it kind of looks like a 300 i'll have to get a magnet check on that guy it's got a cat under it all right so any of you jeep gurus out there i implore you to call me if you know what i'm looking at educate me i'm not won't take it personal I promise i love learning stuff on jeep especially as long as i've done it i feel like i do you know quite a bit and then I've almost, not that you never stop learning, but yeah, something like this comes along and you gotta kind of adjust and relearn. So, the way we usually tell these guys, and it's so caked right now, but get a magnet. And if this has got a uh, aluminum tail shaft, then that usually is a day of 300. 79 would be a 20. And that's what I'm going off of, that it is a 20. But, um, I'll have to, you know, it would, I don't know why it would, it has everything else there, you know, I don't know why it would be. Okay, so it's a, this is a three speed. And my phone's ringing, so I'm gonna have to let you guys go. 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com, just hit the mirror and we'll talk to you later, thank you.